Welcome back everyone to Darkest Dungeon! My name is Bear. We had a pretty damn good result from our long expedition last time, and we got a little bit of extra cash. Kind of actually on a net loss considering all the expenditures that we made last time, but... Luckily, we now get to balance that out, and to our favor, we can now probably upgrade a few more of our characters and be alright. Ashwell, of course, is committed to stress relief. Tornaba could probably use some upgrades as well as Pushot in Wateu. Uh, Croc, actually, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and commit to Croc to some stress relief, too. I'd like to be able to get everybody in tip-top form before we head out another time. Another thing I realized here is I'm not utilizing Feroy's trinkets very effectively. The Commander's Orders only take very good effect when he's in the first rank in the formation. And that's a big dodge loss as well, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go the Nomad Wagon and see whether or not there's something I can use in place of that. The dodge stone, I suppose, would be the counter to that, although that's a little bit less accuracy. Actually, let's have a look at this. Let's see. He does get a bonus to his accuracy from the Paralyzer's Crest, so that's maybe a good option here with the dodge stone. Oh, the no oh, this is a Crusader-only trinket. Look at that. And that's really good. Wow. Okay, hold on. Before I even do that, I'm actually going to reduce the cost of the trinkets again here. And then I'm going to pick this up, because that's really nice. And I can just go ahead and put the commander's orders on a different crusader that we have, namely uh, Croc, I suppose, who we're not going to be bringing out next time, of course. Let's, uh, like, yeah, let's throw the knight's crest on there. I like that a lot. Okay, that'll do. I'm thinking I probably want to consider upgrading the nomad wagon a little bit more. Maybe even give her uh, an, an available size for more trinkets in the future. Because what we're going to be doing for the upgrades to come... I think the guild actually may be the next focus. I'd like to be able to get people up to rank 4. Reduce the cost of training as well. To do that, we need to get 7 portraits. Which is going to be difficult because portraits, I believe, can only stack up twice. Let's see what kind of stuff we have available to get more of those. The Warrens provides us a medium difficulty mission. And an Eldritch Slayer's Ring, which obviously isn't great, but we get 3 portraits. I guess those can stack up to 3 now, can't they? So in the Warrens, I probably want to bring an Occultist with me, which is fine. Let's go ahead and level up Watu a little bit here then. So we'll bring him along for the ride. I think he's got some Eldritch Slaying stuff as well. Oh, he's got his Move Amulet and the Deteriorating Bracer. I wonder if we have Eldritch Slaying... Eldritch benefits of some form within our inventory here. It doesn't look like we do. I probably want to bring a Fasting Seal actually because I've seen the benefit of that. Let's go to the guild real fast. I want to make sure we're using the correct skills. And I think I gotta unlock the Yeah, I gotta go for this. The level 3 of the Abyssal Artillery is gonna be really nice. So we're gonna have that on him. Uh, oh, that's right. We wanted him in position 2 the last time we had him out. So that's obviously not gonna work out anymore. We're gonna replace that with this. And we'll probably have him be our healer. So instead of the Sacrificial Stab, we'll have the Word Reconstruction. And that'll probably be good. I like those options. That allows him to... Well, actually, he can only target the back two with these, so how about instead of that, we give him... I guess Weakening Curse could be nice. Yeah, I like this I like this kid on him. Let's go with that. And then, uh, in bringing out our Occultist, it kind of, kind of naturally gives us the opportunity to level up our Plague Doctor again, so... We're gonna show Seaus some love, as she needs to be leveled up accordingly as well, I believe. She's got the Emboldening Vapors, the Play Grenade could be nice. Obviously need the Battlefield Medicine at level 2 if at all possible. Hopefully be able to level her, level her up actually. We're probably going to have to carry her a little bit through this dungeon. So let's maybe go with a Jester as well in case we need some good old fashioned stress relief. So we can throw that in the third slot. And then Chartress I, I suppose can be our frontline man. Which works out pretty well, I think that'll be okay. I'm going to unlock Focus on him actually. I think I'm going to rock Focus for a little while on my leper. I like that, in, especially in place of Solemnity, because I never use that ever, ever, ever. And boosting his accuracy is going to be really good, considering his base damage is pretty sweet. Although, actually, you know what? I'm going to take off the Fortunate Armlet, and I'm going to go with another Redemption Armlet in the, uh... In the build I have here, I think I'd much rather have the damage and then use the Focus to boost up early on. So that'll work out okay. So we'll go Chartress. And then, uh, I guess, well, hold on now. I guess that would mean we'd have to have our Plague Doctor in the second slot. Which would not be very good. Unless there's a way to make that work, which I doubt there is. Yeah, especially because Battlefield Medicine can only be used from the back too. So tell you what, instead of Pushalt here, maybe we bring our Crusader, maybe we bring Feroy. 
just to have both that stress heal and the, uh, and the, uh, frontline power that brings. So that'll work out okay. So we can sw swap off Holy Lance and Inspiring Cry again, and make better use of that new trinket we just equipped to him as well. So, Occultist Trinkets are good. Let's look at our Plague Doctor. She doesn't have anything, which means she's going to be the one rocking the Fasting Seal. And I might even give her the Archer's Ring, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Boost up that accuracy for her ranged attacks, which are the majority of the ones I believe she can use. Yeah, pretty sure she doesn't. Okay, she's got one melee. So, yeah, that'll work out okay. All right, so let's just make sure everybody's leveled up. I think we're good to go. Level up his heal. And, uh, yeah, F it. Why not? Just do that, too. Spend all of our money. Okay, we good? I think we're good. I think we're ready. Yeah, let's go for it. Embark. We're gonna go for the Warrens. We're gonna go Leper, Crusader, Plague Doctor, Occultist. All right? All right. This should work. Yeah. I don't know why I'm thinking all of a sudden that he's got... No, the Hellion, I believe, is the one that's got a buff that cures her bleed and blight. Yeah, that's the Adrenaline Rush. Okay. Maybe she'll be better then. But I would like to level up our Leper as well. Yeah, we'll bring him out. That's fine. That'll do. Alright. Standard provisions. I am going to bring some torches this time around because the Warrens often provide us opportunities to rid ourselves of negative quirks. Actually, before I go... Oh, you know what? I don't have enough money for it, so I'm not going to go to the Sanitarium this time. I'm going to try to save some of my cash, especially considering we still haven't even bought our provisions yet. So we're going to bring all this goodies. Just one key, uh, two bandages, a couple torches, and then a holy water, which I'll probably end up dumping off. And, uh, oh, some shovels. Yeah, obviously gotta bring some shovels. Okay, this should be good. Let's do it. I'm hoping for... You know, honestly, I think I need to bring my Plague Doctor out a little bit more. That's... That's kind of hurting me right now, because of course we're gonna have to get everybody up to level 6 at some point in order to check off those boxes. So I think bringing my Plague Doctor out a few more times here is gonna be beneficial to me. Let's look for opportunities to do that. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Oh, why can't you be connected, you son of a bitch? Oh, that sucks. Alright, we're gonna have to do some doubling back here, I guess. We're gonna start off probably by going to the top and then go doubling back around. Ooh, you know what? We can take a holy water to this. Or a torch, actually. Yeah, I think a torch is what we want to do. Is it not? A holy water, then? We'll try that. The hero feels wrong. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, all right then. Well, at least we get our torch back, right? I don't know what to do with that one. I don't think I've ever... Oh, God, I hope that debuff isn't permanent. Oh, jeez, that would be terrible. He's not going to dodge a single thing, although he is a tank, so I guess that's fitting. I know there's not really tanks. Give me a goddamn break. I'm just using terminology. Uh, you know what? Crusader, I guess, is going to be our best one. Actually, you know what? F it. Let's use a cultist. All right, then. Good start. <laughs> Ambushed by foul invention. Oh, I thought he had more to that. Does he have more to that sentence? I swear he does. He just cuts himself off sometimes. Alright, that works. We can actually dodge this trap too because we're going to be doubling back this way and then coming down from there. Ooh, gets it some extra food as well. That's always nice. Hopefully we get a whole bunch of it. Yeah, we if do, man. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. 14 extra food is gonna do us well. I need to get some scouts going Finding on as well. Is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Now we can't stop talking, Jesus. So far so good though. I mean, empty rooms are nothing to... nothing to be worried about. Empty hallways too. Nice trap dodge. Okay then. Whoa, what is this? Eldritch Altar. A weird and unnatural statuette that appears to be an item of unholy worship. I've never seen this before. I swear I've never seen this before. How in the world do we interact with this? I would I, I would assume holy water, but we don't have any. A horrifying vision! Holy shit! Well, that sucks. Okay, don't touch that anymore. And now it's bleeding. Wow, that... I'm pretty sure we need holy water for that, because good lord. And there's another one. is in. Nope. Haunting the hearts of men. Do we get more food here, though? Good to God, we're gonna be... We're gonna be feasting tonight, it's holy cow! Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I'm more than likely gonna dump off that trick. In fact, I'm not gonna even give myself the opportunity to hold on to it. I guess we're gonna be, uh... <laughs> we're starting the meals early here, boys. My goodness. That is a lot of food. We shouldn't have to worry about health anymore, I guess. We haven't had a single fight this entire time. This is crazy. 
There's our first eating prompt, and another torch as well. I'm still not gonna pop these just yet, I'm gonna hang on to them for now. We'll get a little bit of gold out of that too. This is a very interesting dungeon so far. I don't know what's going on with those Eldritch Altars, I wonder if that's a new thing. Because I swear I haven't- oh my god, are you kidding me? No fights at all. This is bizarre. What is going on with this dungeon? Is there something unique about it? Laden with loot are often low on supplies. I can't believe how this is going so far. Especially with the pitch black, I mean, you would think. Okay, here we go. Now we finally got something. I don't know why I was really looking forward to this. Jesus Christ, especially now. Well, that sucks. Very bad start. All right, we need to do some party shifting real quickly. Oh boy, yeah, now I think the swine tower is going to get the first move as well. Oh, Jesus! Okay, that sucks. Yikes, yeah, we need to do some healing real fast. He can do his Holy Lance from the back, but unfortunately that just shifts them around, so I wonder if I can... Oh, no, I don't think I can. I gotta go for moves. He can do some stuff from the front, at least. Let's try to get a vulnerability hex down on him. Good crit! Okay, then. Uh, the Crusader, I think, just needs to... Oh, he's got his stress heal. Okay, that's good. That's helpful. He can actually do that from the back. That surprises me. We're gonna get some torch light out of that as well, which is okay, I guess, but... Holy cow, we're probably gonna need to do an early campfire here. Those, uh... Those freaking... Stressors in the, uh, in the entrance. They're not doing us any favors. Please don't stun him. Thank you. Okay, you need to move forward, buddy. In fact, here we go. That's better. Alright, now we can get some damage going on. Focus up real fast, get that accuracy buffed up, and now... He should be able to... Lay down the damage. Ooh, he's all the way back there now, though. Okay, so... Still going for some stress heals and a little bit of HP healing as well on our occultist, who has become the primary target for some reason. You know what? Still weakening curse, maybe even a little bit more vulnerability hex. I think I'm okay with that. Marking them targets, baby. Alright, a hue is a good option here. Get some damage on these guys. I think the Plague Doctor can actually help us out now. Let's see, how much are we looking at? 9 to 16 on each. Or no, 8 to 13 here, rather. That's still very, very good. Might even kill the swine spawn. Let's see, uh, Blinding Gas only targets the swine tar and is not very effective. Uh, Noxious Blast is probably pretty good here, but they have so much blight resist, that's what sucks. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. You know what, let's make him stronger. He's gonna be my primary damage, and I gotta get my occultist back as well. Holy shit, man! That is strong as hell. We need to help out the Plague Doctor, god damn. I was asking for a fight, and I sure as shit got one, didn't I? My goodness. This is kicking my ass. Okay, uh, how about the chop? He's gonna be using his retreat, so no matter what we do... Oh, never mind! The beast, the greater the glory. You give me that opportunity, I'll certainly take it. Okay, then. Oh, boy. Uh, how about... Yeah, I mean, crit chance is not that high, but... Could blight. Small chance. Alright, then. Uh, weakening curse. How much damage are we looking at? Three to four. Not gonna kill. Oh, boy. How about... Yeah, we should probably weaken this guy. Good crit. Okay, I kind of wish I had done it on him now. Oh, well. Getting a little bit of stress relief out of this, too, which is really helping us out. Especially considering, uh, our Crusader's been able to do so as well. Oh, I keep forgetting, though. The Occultist needs to heal the Plague Doctor. Oh, shit. And now, the true test. Hold fast. Or expire. Yeah, you're goddamn right we need you. Okay, thank you for not targeting her, at least. I have a few options for healing her, I just need them to be available to me before he moves. Please, okay. Oh, sadly, the occultist still can't do anything, so maybe we'll try to go for a kill on one of these guys. The hue is gonna... I mean, he's still got his... Oh, god damn, no, please! God damn it! Soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. Fuck! Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Dude. Confidence Whoa. as the enemy crumbles. Oh, that's right. She was wearing these things. A devastating blow. Oh boy. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Oh my god. I didn't play that well at all. Do we need to get out of here? I don't know, man. I need those portraits, that's the whole point. Can I make it through this with three guys? Maybe. Maybe we should try. I don't know, man, I think it's worth a shot. 
What do we do here? This is a, uh... I think this is a freaking holy water thing again. Oh! Well then, that'll do. Oh man. I don't know. This is, uh... This is really dangerous. We'll tell you what. We have a trap here. We gotta detect this thing. Oh, it's not even gonna let me see it, is it? That's okay. Good bleed is this too. The trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. We have to get through one, two, three, four more rooms. We have to double back through three more. I think we can do this actually. It's a risk, obviously, a huge risk. You know what? I'm actually gonna give myself some radiant light here. We only need two torches, I think. I'm gonna try to play it a little safer. We can keep two torches on the off chance that we get an opportunity to remove a negative quirk or something like that, which would obviously make this maybe a little bit more worthwhile. God, that early altar, man. I can't believe... I should have been moving the occultist back. I can't believe I didn't do that. We lost our plague doctor. Oh my god. These are... These are serious times, man. We're gonna have to find a new one, of course. More food! Oh, we don't have, Oh, we do have herbs. Okay, there we go. I mean, I guess, right? Why not? Might as well take that. Oh, shit! Stop doing that, goddammit! Put the occultist in the back! And, of course, the one guy with super high stress gets hit by the howl. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, we're gonna do that before we make that mistake again. Please don't give him a resolve test. We really don't need that to happen right now. Alright. Stunning blow, smite. Smite could probably kill him. There we go. Okay, that eliminates one of their moves, I guess. Oh, man. Do I focus, or what's the accuracy looking like? It's actually pretty good. Okay, maggots dealt with. with impunity. Now, sadly, we need to worry about this guy being a piece of shit. Could resolve test. Oh, please. At least it didn't crit, but this still might be. Holy shit. 96 out of 100. Oh, my God, man. This is... This is worrying me. What do we do here? I might even be able to kill him before he acts again. What do we need? 21 damage. Of course. Alright, well at least that's not a stress attack, I don't think. That is Blight, which we can deal with. Uh, do I need to heal him? I guess. Might as well go for it. Ooh, nice! 14 health! Good god, that was excellent. Alright, one more shot ought to do it. I'm gonna take his highest accuracy base chance, which is the Intimidate. Very good, okay. Alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. We got rid of his blight there. We're gonna dump off his anti-venom, make room for the crests, and then probably eat a bunch of food to make way for the gold. That's that sounds like a good idea. Hopefully we have lost enough health to actually be able to eat all the food. That would be ideal. Yeah, just dump that one off. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy. <laughs> I am not happy anymore. My demeanor changed drastically since the beginning of this. Alright, there's a fight. Empty room. We get a scout, which is always helpful. We get two fights between here and there. And then there's just one more room beyond that. I really think we can do this. Especially if, since it's just going to be three on three for the most part, I believe. Alright, how's the hue look? It's a chance to kill the corpse eater, but I think I'd rather knock the guy out beforehand. I gotta kill this swine marcher before all goes to shit. That's the high priority here. How about I reduce his accuracy? That'd probably be better. Give me that debuff. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. Stunning him, especially when he dodges it. That always works out. Okay, good target. We need to use our campfire, man. I think I ought to do that right when I get into this room. That's, that's a critical mistake I'm making if I don't try to do that very soon. Okay. Give me the hue before they move. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Oh my god, we're gonna have to spend like all of our campfire time trying to debuff this, uh, or get rid of this stress rather. Good crit! Okay, that's helpful. Two more damage, which we can do from the weakening curse. There we go. Not bad at all. Alright. You know what? We're gonna eat the food again, except we can't really do that. What can we dump off here? I guess we can pop the torches? Sure. We'll take the ruby, and then... Oh, we can get rid of some of these shitty things, I guess. Oh, I kind of like all of them, though. I don't know. Uh, the archer's ring, maybe. That's so good, though. Can't get rid of any of these trinkets. I wish I had a body to put them on, goddammit! 
Whatever. We don't need 500 gold. We're fine. As soon as we get into this room, we are camping out. And we are finishing this goddamn mission. For the Plague Doctor. We push on. In her memory. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Alright, so we're definitely going with the stress reduction methods on our... Leper. I don't think we have much else to do, though. Although, Zealous Speech could be nice here, too. What else do we have? Reduce his own stress by 25. And boost his accuracy. Or... We could go with the Quarantine, which I like a lot. Let's go for that. Alright, he's down to zero now. That's some health lost on the Leper, but that's fine. Ah, uh, man. We don't have a ton of options. I guess Zealous Speech is in order. Sure. Heal him up, too. And I believe that's all we can do. Alright. That'll work. We just gotta really, really hope that we don't have a fight to deal with before we get out of here. It's kind of funny that you can use the food while they're talking like this. <laughs> the match is struck. A blazing star is born. Alright, things are looking a lot better now. No buffs, sadly. We also don't have the holy water necessary to deal with that, so I'm leaving it be. No additional stress for us, por favor. This is a fight guaranteed, and then after this, there's only one more room. Oh, but this is a scary battle. Alright, let's hope for the best. I might need to focus here to give me that accuracy buff, but... Maybe we'll be okay. He actually does already have an accuracy buff, so we'll probably be alright. Yeah, let's go for the front damage on the Gorer. Actually, if we go with a Hue, he'll probably die. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, that's fine. We can live with that. This dude's kind of weak, actually. We got 11 hit points and a whole bunch of... Vulnerabilities to Affliction. What's his angle? It's a weird party line shift, I guess, but that's not really that bad. And now he's dead! Good stress relief, okay. Uh, Zealous Accusation's pretty good here. I like the AoE. There's no bonus damage from the Smite either, so we don't really need to worry about that. That'll do. Then the Hue might even kill the, uh, the Vomiteer in the back. My god, that stress is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous! Alright, uh, let's go for vulnerability to try to take this guy down with a hue. Maybe Zealous Accusation on both of these guys can work out. Let's try it. Okay, one down, and then Zealous might take them both down. Fortunately, he does get his move. It's only six damage, not that bad. No stress either. Alright, this should do it. Oh my god, he's got one hit point left, doesn't he? Two, okay, that... It makes me feel slightly better, but that's another 10 stress that I really not like have to deal with there. God damn it! Oh, I really wish we hadn't killed that Blade Doctor! Jesus! It's so terrible! A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Alright, we're gonna eat this food up again. Take these busts, see what's inside. Might even dump off the key here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of the key. Because that's what we're hoping to get out of the key anyway. Alright, we got a scout! And another fight, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Okay. I think we can deal with this. I think we can make it out of here. These guys have pretty high, uh... Spring to life. Ah, damn it. With a singular purpose. I'll tell you what, let's just eat all this food before we even go in that room. Probably gonna have to end up bleeding through... ...the damage here. Only one more round of that. I think we're just fine. Yeah, we're gonna make it through this. Here we go! Give me an easy fight! That's not an easy fight! But he surprised them! Okay, alright, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Let's get some debuffs going on. That'll be a good start! Okay, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, still the damage is nice. It's the most damage he pro probably could have done for us. Chopping on this guy. Oh, yes! Oh, I love this! Okay, finish this motherfucker off! There we go! Perhaps the turning point. This all of a sudden became much more manageable. Here we go. Ooh. Lightest lapse in concentration. Oh, almost got him, man. That would have been really nice. Especially now. Luckily, it didn't crit. I was totally anticipating the crit strike from that, but we're okay. We're gonna be just fine. The smite might even take down the spawn. Let's see it. Okay, that's all right. We managed to make it through. We managed to make it through this godforsaken dungeon. And hopefully, we'll only have to commit two people. It looks like we will. That's just fine with me. We've done it. 
Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That is a pretty damn good trinket for the uh, grave robber there, so I am going to go ahead and make some inventory space for that. Obviously, we don't need the food anymore, so we'll take this here. And then, uh, I don't know, dump off the shovel? Yeah, dump off the shovel and then take 25 gold. There we go. Eh, scout ahead, why not? In fact, yeah, we'll go for that. Go for that last little bit of treasure. Oh, never mind, we're good. <laughs> the twisting tunnels seem a little less impossible. Oh, boy. Well, that sucked. But at least we got this, right? That was the whole point. Now we got the portraits, which is what we wanted in the first place. We got five, which I think is going to be enough to allow us to upgrade the guild, but sadly not enough to give us the discount on price. I suppose we can live with that. Ooh, we got Stout and Slayer of the Unholy. The Bloodthirsty is kind of... Shitty. Oh well. Not bad. She was only level 1. I guess it's not that huge of a loss. I was thinking she was level 2 or 3 for some reason, but whatever. I remember whatever. days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Okay. Now. We need to, uh... We need to get ourselves a new Plague Doctor, so let's just check here real fast. Oh my goodness, how perfect. Okay, there we go. Got her. Better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield. <laughs> I already had one. Oh, man. Thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. I'll see you next time.